hello you guys welcome back to my channel and another vlog i am currently getting ready because we're gonna go to dallas which is a city two hours away from us and we are gonna go pick up my new iphone 15 i pre-ordered it yesterday and it gave us the option to like drive there to pick it up or it would be delivered to our house in like three weeks so we're like you know we're gonna drive to get it because my phone is i have the 13 pro right now and my back camera is messed up um it won't let me like zoom out or zoom in it's just like broken and then also the back is like completely cracked so just a lot of issues going on but i'm getting ready so i thought i would kind of start the vlog here and just kind of talk to you guys i know i've been kind of mia on youtube i just haven't been posting like as frequently as i used to i used to be a little bit more frequent with my postings i think i was doing like once a week like on the dot i was just like being super consistent but here lately, I've been trying to focus more on TikTok and just growing more on TikTok because I feel like that's kind of where social media is heading. So I've just been spending a little bit more time on there, but I do miss you guys on YouTube. So I am just going to suck it up and try to juggle, you know, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, even though it's kind of a lot. I'm not going to lie. Drinking my morning coffee. I bought this new say. It's like an all over glow and it's so pretty. It just like makes your whole face so glowy but so natural. I'll link all these products down below. But like I was saying, I know I haven't been spending as much time as I used to on YouTube. So I'm going to try to start vlogging more frequently for you guys because I miss you guys on YouTube. I miss like the long vlogs. I feel like everything nowadays is just focused on like short vlogs, which is crazy. I never really expected like social media to like be where it is right now. Like I never would have thought that people would um, be less interested in like YouTube and more into like like TikTok kind of videos. It's crazy. But that's just the life of being a content creator. You just have to like keep adjusting and adapting to the changes because there's so many. Also, you guys, I cleaned my brushes. Last night, I got like this new brush cleaner. Look how white they are. Like, I'm obsessed. I've, I'm really lazy about cleaning my brushes. So this is a reminder for you guys to also cleaners. I'll link the little cleaner that I used too. It like worked so good. I can like attach like a little video of me like cleaning them. It was like amazing. Also, you guys, I don't know if you can tell like a difference in like my vlog. They're looking so much clearer because I got a new camera. My other one, like my vlogs were just coming out so blurry. I know some of you noticed. Um, I definitely noticed. They were just like my my camera just wasn't focusing anymore, and I took it in like twice to get fixed, and it just like they didn't fix it. So or they weren't able to. I don't know what happened. Um, they told me they fixed it, but it wasn't fixed. So I just ended up buying a new camera. This is my new one that I'm vlogging on right now. And it just like looks like you can tell the quality is like so much better. It's so much clearer. So I thought I would just point it out. Let me know down below if you guys can like tell or like notice a difference. I am just going to set, I sent my other one in to get fixed. This is the third time. And they said like they most likely will send me a new one. So I'm just going to have a backup camera now just in case something ever like this happens again. That way, um... I won't like run into not having like a camera to vlog with anymore because it was like such a struggle. Also, I thought I would give a little update on like what's been going on with Maddox preschool because my last vlog was like his first day and I guess it's been around two weeks now um, since since uh, the first since the first day like since his first day of preschool and he is doing so much better. I know some of you guys were worried because. He was like, he cried like the full day, the first day. He cried like the whole day. And I felt, and I felt so horrible because like when we picked him up, like I felt so bad for him because he was whimpering. And I just felt, oh, it was like heartbreaking. But he's fully adjusted now and he's like playing and laughing and having so much fun. So, and I knew obviously it was going to take him like a few days to get used to it. It took him about three. Also, please don't mind like the, it's, a pro it's a process. Just trust the process. I promise. I know I look crazy right now, but after I blend it out, it looks so much better. Um, but yeah, he's fully adjusted. He's doing so much better. 
alhamdulillah like i am so happy because i i was like thinking like oh we're gonna have to like pull him out like there's no way that this is gonna work like i was like i'm not gonna like continue like just to let him you know cry all day long like that um that's like not worth it for me but he's having so much fun they send me like pictures and videos throughout the day and he's like eating like he eats his full lunch which is hilarious because at home like sometimes he doesn't eat as good and like at school it's just like he like is in love with the like lunches i pack him so it's so cute and he loves to play outside he like plays with his friends and he's just doing really good so i'm really happy about that okay you guys i'm all done just put some gloss on and then I'm going to get dressed, but I already know what I'm wearing, so hopefully that won't take me too long because we need to leave in like 20 minutes. I'm always running a little bit behind. I don't know why. It always takes me so long to like get ready. My finishing touch. So my makeup won't move all day. But yay, I'm all done. I'm gonna wear like a denim jacket. I guess I can kind of like vlog that for you guys and show you guys like what I'm gonna wear and then I can show you guys my outfit. So I recently got this denim jacket. So I have the tag on, I take that off, but it's so cute. I love like the style of it. It's from H&M. I'll try to find it online for you guys so I can link with the perfect denim jacket. It's so cute. So I'm gonna wear it with like, I already have them on, but you can't see them. It's like these black like lounge pants or like flare pants, like ripped pants. They're so cute. I'm going to wear my loafers because it is loafer season, you guys. And these are so cute. Okay, it's really hard to like show the whole outfit, but this is like the top. And then maybe I can like scoot back and show you guys what the bottom looks like. Bag and I'm all ready to go. Okay, I scooted back so you guys can kind of get the whole vision. We're all ready to go. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit down below. Okay, we're gonna get Malik dressed. Get him dressed if he lets me. He's been giving me a really hard time getting dressed lately. Okay, wait. What do you want to wear today? Stand up. What do you want to wear? This one? Okay, try to do black joggers and what else for him? Match me, put him in that blue shirt. And black pants. What is that? It's good. How amazing is that? Looks good. Show it to him. Stuff I just made himself some breakfast. What'd you put in it? Uh, it's two fried eggs with a bunch of seasoning, Mexican cheese, and we have mixed oh, Misha. Cholula. Misha. Yum. The toaster is, is too toasty though. Okay. That's cute. What do we think? You like? No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Please take a bite of this. Huh? Is it uh, cute? Is it cute? Yeah. So please take a bite of this. Uh -huh. Oh. Mmm. That's really it's good. Mmm. Okay. We're ready to go. Here's my purse. Don't mind this mess. Let me lose. Got my makeup bag with all the things I could possibly refresh, freshen up with. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out the door. We're on our way to Dallas. We have maybe like an hour left. Right, Ms. Less than Less than an hour, thank goodness. Um, I'm so excited to get my phone because like I told you guys at the beginning, my phone is like so broken and so bad. And my vlogs, like when I vlog on TikTok, I'm most, I mostly vlog with like my phone and it's my camera is like kind of broken. So it hasn't been working out very good. So I'm everything really excited. Broken everything, everything. I don't know why, but. She doesn't know why, but she, she so drops it all the time. Somehow everything of mine just like stops working. Like my it cameras. Just, it just stops all of a sudden. Technology. I'm just me and technology. We don't we don't get along well because they're always breaking, and I always get so frustrated. I wonder how they break. I really I take good care of my stuff. I really do. I really do. Come on. I really do. 
I, I promise. I really do. <laughs> because I don't know. But I try to take good care of my stuff. It's just like, I just don't have good luck. That's, that's just what it is. Luck is not in my favor. But Malik is sleeping, taking his nap. He looks so cute, actually. Good food because we're starving. We made it! <laughs> I got it, you guys! It was so easy. We just went in, they like scanned our QR code, and they gave us a phone. I ended up getting the navy blue one. It came in like three colors navy blue, black, or like white silver. But I like the navy blue one the most. So let's open it up together. Oh my god, it's so pretty! It's so pretty, it's like a navy blue. It's gorgeous. So for the most part, I feel like it looks the same, right? Yeah, the difference it, is It the feels top. slimmer. It's like thinner. Yeah, it's gonna be the thinner. top right there. Yeah, this the front part looks different. Still got the three cameras in the back. And the most obvious one that everyone's like been talking about is the charging cable. It's like a USB, right? It's USB-C. It's USB-C now. So we were talking about this, like that's gonna be crazy. Cause like when you go over to someone's house, like if they don't have the iPhone 15, then you can't use their charger. And like you have to carry this around like everywhere. It's the only thing that kind of sucks, I guess. It feels a little bit slimmer and the charging is like different. Um, but I can't get into it right now cause I'm gonna have to like set it up. But I'm gonna do that later when I get home. But yeah, I'm so excited. I like needed this so bad. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so we're starving. We're gonna go try out this new place it's called Olive Burger. It's like halal and my cousin just means that it was really good. So we're gonna go try it out. She said their chicken burgers are really good. And we'll they have, see if she's lying or not. Yeah, and she said they have like beef, um, beef bacon and turkey bacon that she said was really good. So I'm gonna try that out as well. Malik, are you ready to eat nene? Okay, look at this. Does this not look amazing? It's like a grilled chicken burger. It's got fries and nuggets for Malik. Mustafa still, still hasn't gotten his yet. Yum. Yum. I love a good burger. Hello, you guys. It is the next day now, and I just got ready because today we are going to go to this little, like, it's like a small pumpkin patch that's right next to our house. Because I'm gonna go look at some pumpkins, see if I can get some so I can decorate my front porch with because it is that time and I'm so excited. I learned my lesson and I stopped getting pumpkins at like last year I think I got them at Lowe's, they like rotted so quickly and it was like not good at all. So I learned my lesson. I'm gonna start getting them from pumpkin patches now because their pumpkins are so so pretty. They have like so many colors. So we're gonna go do that. Also take some pictures there with Malik. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit here in a second. I'm so excited for fall fashion. And also I decorated my house. I didn't vlog it, but I did post like a, um, a reel and a TikTok if you guys wanna check that out. But I'm gonna show you guys like how I decorated it right now just real quick. So over the years, I've just collected things. This year I did buy a few new things, but this is my fireplace. I love how it turned out. I like to do something a little bit different each year. So each year I like to change it up just a little bit, but for the most part, I use like the same things over, over and over each year. But this is the fireplace. Let me scoot back and show you guys. Love how it turned out. I love the lights. I actually turn them on every single day and it just gives like a really nice vibe in the house, especially at nighttime. It's so nice when it's like all dark and it's just like the lights flickering. I think it's so cute. I did purchase these like two pumpkin pillows that you see over here and I really like how they turned out. I love like the white, but I decided to put one on each of those little chairs. I think it's so cute, but Malik doesn't actually like leave them up there. They're always like on end up on the floor. That's the only thing that he's like been touching and like moving around. And then the kitchen area, I made this little arrangement last year and I kept it because it's so cute. 
and um, I added this cute little basket filled with some pumpkins and pine cones. And then, of course, we have to have our fall pumpkin. This one smells so good. This is Bath and Body White Pumpkin. So this is my little setup here in the kitchen. I think it's really cute. It's like a little focal point once you walk into the kitchen. Please don't mind the dishes. There is dishes in the sink. We haven't gotten to those yet. And then I just added some cute little pumpkins here on the backsplash. Um, that orange thing, just seasonal. I like to switch them out. It, I think it added a cute little touch of color over here. And then when you walk over here into the dining, I love how it actually turned out this year i think it is so cute and you guys we just put up that painting right there and i love it i think it like fits the vibe of this little area so well and it just brought everything together but let me get a little bit closer up to the decor on the table oh i love how it turned out um i've had this pumpkin and then i like i said it's like i use the same things but i switch it up every year so I definitely switched it up this year. Honestly, I don't even really remember what I did last year, but this year, it's a vibe. It's so cute. And then when you walk over here, this is the front door. I did this cute little arrangement. I've had these bats in my closet. I actually forgot about them. I just put like three little bats on the mirror. I think it's super cute. And then this I am in love with. It is so cute. So I actually have had these beads over here since Ramadan. It's just like cute. I felt like it was just cute year round, but then I just recently purchased these cute little like cozy, fluffy, like pumpkins from target actually and i got like all different colors there's like red orange green white and then um i added some pine cones and i made it into like this cute little arrangement i think this is really cute like when people walk in through the front door like this is the first thing they see i feel like i don't really like vlog too much in this area but i think i need to start vlogging like a little bit more in this area here especially in this room behind me which i'm going to show you guys next so this is our formal living area i really don't vlog in here as much as i should but all i added in here was just like these two gray pumpkins I got those at TJ Maxx but I think it's actually so cute it fit the vibe really well I think it looks so nice yeah I guess that's all like the fall decor that I did the only thing um, like I said I need to do is my outdoor like front porch area so I'm excited to do that this year but let me know down below which section of the house or fall decor is your favorite this year I thought I would show you guys my outfit really quick before we head out the door I'm wearing this adorable denim skirt I love how they are like back in style i think they're so cute and then i just did like a white body underneath and my new blazer i just bought from h&m and then i'm just gonna do some white like strappy heels but i love it i love the denim for fall i think it's so cute okay we just got to this little pumpkin patch it's right next to our house like really close to our house and we came here last year i remember and we took some cute pictures so i'm gonna try to find some good looking pumpkins see if we can grab some for my front porch i brought myself with me because pumpkins are heavy like they're really really heavy and i just i don't mm. feel like picking them up he's <laughs> always the one that like gets them for me so we're gonna look around um let mac look at the bum he calls them bumpkins he's like obsessed with pumpkins right now it's so cute you look so yeah. cute are you ready to look at the bumpkins no we got our little wagon that we're gonna need to put the pumpkins in look how cute they are there's so many like loops all the way around malik do you see the bumpkins look oh he found oh <laughs> He put one in there. He said thank you. Okay, so far I got these two. I like that they're the same size and I like like the shape of them. Super cute. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm getting this one and then we also just got that other green one. I want them to match. Are they like the same size? They are, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, we tried to take some pictures. Unfortunately, Malik will not allow them, so. He just got these random bowling balls from somewhere. And yeah, we won't take any pictures, so. It's fine, I guess. Okay, you guys, I picked out all my pumpkins. I think I got like, ended up getting like 10 of them. They're so pretty. They're heavy, like so heavy. I got all my pumpkins. I think I ended up getting 10, but I love all the different colors and shapes and sizes. So we got them loaded in the trunk. We're good to go. Okay, we got all the pumpkins and I'm gonna start decorating. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll figure it out. Okay, this is what I have so far. 
pretty. I just don't know. I don't have like, an idea what to do. I think I'm gonna put these by the door, the compass, and then the mums, and then maybe the pumpkin. We'll see. Okay, you guys, I am done decorating. I didn't like vlog me doing it on YouTube, but I made like a little video for TikTok and Reels because I had to film it on my camera so I couldn't like do both at the same time. But I did want to sh oh, shoot. Ants in there. It's not like there's not ants. Well, none of them bun on me. Oh. I even hit record again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, you guys. We got so many ants in front of our house. Okay, let me step back and show you guys hey. what it looks like. I am so happy with it. I love the yellow mums. I've never done yellow mums before, but I feel like for this year it was a nice change. Mac, do you want to help me put the, some of the last pumpkins? Put it over there. Pumpkin. Put that pumpkin there. Ah, pumpkin there. Good there job. Thank you. No. Good was job. was my biggest helper today. Thank you, Maddox. Say cheese. <laughs> Let me know what you guys Ew. think of this front porch ball decor. Ew. I'm tired. I need water like that. Okay, I got a little closer up so you guys can really get a good look. But I am so happy with the way it turned out. I'll actually attach like a little clip here of what it looked like last year. I just remember I had red mums last year, which I really loved, but I couldn't find this year. And then I saw these yellow ones and I felt like they would be such a good like pop of color. So I love how it turned out.